it is a good song. It is. It's pretty cool. Hey, folks, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Together, even though it is actually, when you get right down to a one player game, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I'm the Mysterious JG. Uh, I'm Bobo the Vulture. And uh, we're just kicking off uh, Operation Snake Eater, having completed and ultimately failed in our virtuous mission. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to meet Mr. Zigant. Boing. Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? Yo. The black guy's no, first word is yo. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. At least he doesn't have a monkey and a diaper Close. as a sidekick. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Bitch. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. Why would he be in language? It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. <laughs> weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. I'm not interested in talking to you, though. Later. It's like, man, why would he be in language? I don't understand. All right, so check in with, I guess, just call. Well, oh, call you don't have to call anybody if you don't want to. But. Right, uh, it is. Knee, snake. You do want to actually want to call people. Um, See, unlike sorry. the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll it's going to last more than one day, though. That you didn't encounter your last mission. And nocturnal emissions. Some of them are venomous, like the King Cobra, so be careful. I'm Queen Cobra. If you get bitten by a venomous place. animal, the poison will spread through your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. If that's the case, go into the cure screen and survival view immediately and inject yourself with serum. Got it? The serum? I don't know. I have to check my inventory. But uh, it is actually advantageous to call, I know at least Sigant, uh fairly frequently because if you call him enough times it actually unlocks dialogue with him that you wouldn't get otherwise kind of like with Otacon the mm. snake your first task is to meet up with Adam the contact provided by the KGB the rendezvous point is the abandoned factory to the north of your current position head north the abandoned factory that's where I met Sokolov during the virtuous mission is a game really Correct, just four screens long you can't long. afford to have the same thing happen this time you I can't know. afford to meet Sokolov there <laughs> and also, don't kill Ocelot like and create a Cole time paradox. Members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. What? Emotions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I don't know how <laughs> I know this. The pain. For true oblivion, the end. What? That's not really an emotion. For infinite but... rage, the fury. Hey, you remember him. <laughs> for absolute terror, the fear. And for absolute fear, for the terror. For bliss, the joy. Ooh. The joy. It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Mm -hmm. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. But, uh... They say that, but they're wrong. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's enough for now. Yeah, the Sorrow. We're gonna mention him a lot. Now, I'm going to guess I'm all out of food now, right? <gasps> a, a frog! I don't know if it's a tree frog. But yeah, you probably are out of food now. Let's see. Yep. Well, I mean, you still got your calorie mate. Good. Probably should eat. I guess if I'd been thinking about it, I would have told you to eat the calorie mate back in the Virtuous Mission. It's a tree frog. What? No, come on, get down You're there. You're not supposed to teabag the frog. <laughs> Look, that is not what I was trying to do. Where did you go, tree frog? Perhaps. I feel like on top of it now. Yeah. Wait, set it up there? It was, it was to the left. You, you, it was there. Back. Yeah, it's right in front of you. Tree frog is way too slick. <laughs> You'll never be able to capture this frog. I can't seem to look down. <laughs> I, I literally can't capture this tree frog. I'll shoot it. I'm not gonna sh <laughs> use bullets on a frog. <laughs> You'd actually be using crank ammo. I thought I had a. Oh, I mean, you might be right. I might be bullets now. Besides, it's noisy. Well, there's no enemies in the screen. There's gotta be... This, seriously, there's gotta be a way to stab a frog. What if I, like, hunched it up? God damn it. 
There's gonna be this whole video, folks. Get I don't know if you knew. Get further back. And now try. No, I think you're probably too far now. Get closer. I don't know. I don't remember having had this much trouble with the frogs. Stun grenade. First person. Ah. Oh, I thought you. Okay, never mind. I didn't know that. That was. Our frogger. There's another one. <laughs> Operation Frog Killer. Dun, dun, dun. I see you've been murdering frogs, Snake. So, Snake, how's your frog murdering <laughs> going? Shack. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stand up, turn around. There was an apple in the tree. Yeah, shoot that apple down just for fun, please. There's no enemies who can find you on this screen, so. Just gonna show people all the awesome shit you can do, like shooting down apples. I see you've murdered an apple. Or a fruit. And there was definitely snakes ahead of you. So that's But cool. there's no plane here, so I don't really need <laughs> to be worried. Alright, paramedic. Tell me what an apple is. I see you caught not in frog. And killed it. Is it a the tree frog? It's a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it <laughs> might be worth catching them for food. See if it's smuggling food around its pocket. The frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. I know there's a lot of Japanese shit around here. What's yeah. that about? But the Otten frog is unique in that it has five. It's the Got most it. humanoid of all frogs. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy. And there's Indian right. crocodiles, so Japanese frogs. Tastes pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. Why is he making him kiss up to Japan? I mean, I know the game was sold in Japan. I see you found a yabloko maloko. <laughs> I see you found a yabloko found a Yabloko maloko. It's a Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. It's They're a made of, of milk. Star apple. The juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you Boca cut Boca. one in half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. I it's see you discovered Jim Todoroki. Right. The star-shaped part has a gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. Sexy. Sounds useful. You're welcome. For once. Did you say something? No, uh, back to the mission. I'm kind of an asshole for no reason. <laughs> Oh, equip the stun grenade for a second and then call Sigint. It's just an excuse to to get in some extra dialogue with him, so I'll know the like optional conversation with him when we hear it. The Davy Crockett's that the boss oh. took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. Much like your stun grenade. Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. The dynamite attack where Nitro the used to be on. Is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. Oh, like so laser refraction vamp bullshit. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Probably a big explosion, probably though. It's probably the same thing that happened when she did the yeah. first time. Snake, I see you've discovered a yabloko and a moko. Po, bro, po. I've never seen a grenade like that one before. I'm not really much of a weapons expert, I'm sorry. Grenades. Fragmentation grenades, which use shrapnel to kill or maim the target, and explosive grenades, which use the blast from the explosion as the offensive means. What about incendiary grenades? Huh? But the grenade huh? you've got there isn't either of those. My best guess is that it's meant to knock the enemy out without hurting them. But I don't really know because I didn't do any research on the weapons kind of you were weapon equipped with at the beginning of your mission. Grab. I've heard that the SAS is working on a low impact grenade for training purposes, but I never thought they'd be used in an actual battle. The flash of light that occurs when the grenade explodes is probably produced by magnesium. It's the same stuff that's used in camera flashes. I'm thinking they cut down on killing power by reducing the amount of explosives and made and up increasing for it the by amount of camera flash, flash magnesium so strong that it overwhelms the enemy's senses. I guess you could call it a stun grenade. Yeah, it's going to be stunned. Called. I'd rather it be by a woman. <laughs> I'd rather she kick me in the nuts and give me the stunner than flick me off and drink a beer. <laughs> 
It ought to come in handy when you're trying to storm a room. Someone's gonna don't throw a stone right enemy. at me. I'd rather be a beautiful. <laughs> Someone's gonna shoot me in the ball. <laughs> I'd rather be. <laughs> yeah, I got some weird ideas. So what? Oh, wait, he's not gonna tell me about any of those. He'll just tell me about microphones and shit. I see you've equipped a microphone. That can be used to kill people by bludgeoning them. A directional microphone. The directional microphone is exactly what it looks like. A listening device. It looks kind of like an... When you equip it, you <laughs> looks like a death ray. I mean, <laughs> yeah. pick up sounds in whatever direction you point it in. The directional microphone will let you hear a lot of things you couldn't hear otherwise, like really like the voices in Randy Orton's head. <laughs> some far away enemy soldiers. You ought to find it useful when you want to know whether there's an enemy on the other side of the woods or something. Try it out. Check it, check it out, y'all. I'm sorry, but it, it did strike me. Maybe I'm too sensitive, but it struck me a little odd that the black character's first word in the game was "yo." <laughs> MTV raps. Yeah. Ah, you're using the survival. Ah. This thing Daniel provides Sa. me with all the bare essentials I need to survive in the field. Mm. Hey, wait. What'd you do with the knife I made you? That was a work of art. I shut it had matches ass. and fish hooks <laughs> and thread and stuff in the grip. Sorry to have to tell you this. But that thing is useless in a fight. No way. Really? Yeah. Why is the grip is hollowed Look. out like that. There's not as much space to stabilize the blade. So the joint between the blade and the grip is weaker. That makes it easier to break. But it wasn't broken I yet, Snake. You're right. With your knife, you don't have to worry about it breaking, no matter how much you no swing. How many around. frogs you stab? So the important thing is durability. Man, I gotta write this stuff down. Next time. I'll make it so the matches and fish hooks go in the sheath instead. Oh, forget the fish hooks. Uh, man, someday I'm gonna have a web a career in weapons design. I'm gonna make millions of dollars making knives that don't break easily. <laughs> based on your knife, which is just a regular knife. <laughs> hey, you've got an M1911 A1. Yeah, a 45. Get, 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 just like years that. Since the army adopted Sorry. the first model, and they're still using them. It's a real gem of an automatic pistol. Revolver off. But aren't I you going to need shit. more than just one little handgun? Not at all. When you're in a tight I'm spot, totally we're take down close quarters, with this gun. sometimes a handgun works better than a rifle. And if I equip a knife at the same time, I can instantaneously switch over to hand to hand combat. It could be awesome. I King. see. Sigurd really just calls you up and you tell him about your weapons. Yeah. I need no weapons. My hands are my weapons. I'm Queen Cobra, leader of the Road Warriors. So you got snakes. Pretty sure you can't catch butterflies. There's something crawling around in the tree. Yeah, this game has like lots and lots of little stuff that you don't necessarily... Alright, I might have been uh, seeing things there. Although if we are in the same place, there's got to be ivy around. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> well now I suppose yes, now is the time I can find out whether or not I have trank bullets or Okay, you just have a gun gun. You will get a trank weapon uh, before the game's over. Yeah, I believe it. I'm sure there are other snakes I could be hunting down at this point, but uh other snakes. Yeah, you've got you've got you you you're, you're near your food limit. You don't have a whole lot of space to be Well, stuff spo around. stuff spoils. Uh so you you go a long time without eating your food, you need to get rid of it because you actually get sick. Like it actually you end up needing to go into the medical menu and you know, get Pepto or something. Yeah. Dramuchi North. Dramuchi. Now this is going to be that place where the, uh... Nah, I don't think there's guards until the next screen. Oh. Yeah, actually, you're you're elevated up on a cliff, so I... Well, hit start, actually. Hold up. Hit start. Check your map. I think you might be in an area that we didn't get to in the previous game. And, like, if you drop down, you'll be back there. That's hard to say. Just... Wander on along.
I do hear something else moving around. I don't know if it's an animal or a guard. Guards, of course, being robots. <laughs> the guard bots? Yeah. Garlic Jr. is up there. What if I equipped the it's direction kind of trip wire or string or something? You're a horse? Yeah, actually, I, I heard it too. Foon Psyche is down there. Look, the plot just requires you to jump down there. <laughs> but no, you're right. That's kind of strange. There's some, something down there. I don't think it's a horse. There's a snake. There's a snake. <laughs> it's got to snake it up. You just did a swanton bomb onto the snake. <laughs> I'm your fellow snake. Let us work together. <laughs> no! <laughs> You bastard! We could have been kings! King Cobra. Not Queen Cobra, leader of the, you know. I got you. Cobra Gang. The Mood Warriors slash Cobra Gang, they're both here. Either one is pretty amazing, but when they're both here, look out. Shit's gonna get real. Yeah, there's a get horse ahead. What is going on with this horse? There's oh, also a snake up in the tree. That's a big old snake hanging up in the tree. I'm not sure I want to shoot him, though. If there's a horse around, I'll spook the horse. Yeah, the horse is a plot thing. I wouldn't worry about it. Alright. Although... That's why you probably want to kill that snake. Yeah, I won't kill the snake anyways, just because... I don't need no snake food. I'm afraid of no snakes. Oh, no, but I didn't call Signet on that screen. Yeah, it's okay. You called him several times on the previous screen. Like, if you make a point of... Ne there's very few points where you have to talk to him, so if you never call him about anything, you don't get enough dialogue with him to unlock super... probably achievements now that it's like a Xbox 360 version we're playing. So yeah, horse. <clears throat> Paramedic, I found a horse. How do they taste? Well, snake, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, there's people who eat a horse, and they taste pretty good. Pretty much a lot like, uh, you Chicken, know, yeah. many other red meats. <laughs> Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. How you doing? Boss. That arm F still hurt? Final boss battle already. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. What are you doing here? Kicking your ass. That's not very good camp. Oh. Light suit, I think. She really does make him her bitch. <laughs> go home. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. The Gru song? You don't have a prayer of finishing the mission. You're not even armed. You suck so hard, Snake. Boss! Can I have the weekend off? I know it's scheduled to work, but... Can I go home early? Oh, kicking up dirt as he's slammed around. I'm not your boss anymore. Oh, I I'm the boss? There's nothing for you here. Go Who's home. the boss? Go back <laughs> to your boss. Who's my boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. Yeah. She made the same mistake I did. She thought buying a bigger, um, buying a bigger clip was going to actually that improve her total things. ammo she's allowed to carry. You'd better hurry. She's got thermal clips on her gun so that she has finite ammo. Even though there's no reason for it to work that way. I'll be quick. Hurry. The Go stab. <laughs> that was Bill Cosby. <laughs> You can get there in an hour if you're able to walk at 60 miles an hour. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm Why didn't you? To the end, to my purpose. The end? You mean the member of the Cobra unit? Jack? To the end? 
Why was that in quotation marks? What's it going to be? Lady. Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or duty. your personal feelings? Duty. Duty, you did. Nice that we can both find <laughs> things to take not at all seriously about that statement. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. This is still better than talking to Rose. You'll choo 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 choose me. me. But I do expect that I'm gonna kick your ass the next time you show up. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Usually, that's a reason you can defeat someone. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. Wait, what? And now the horse stomps him to death. Womp. Oh, that's if not nice. Him, I'll kill you. But, uh, it was nice catching now, up. Go home. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Boon Psyche, you son of a bitch! You son of a mare. I have to go to the medical menu and probably fix his hand now. Yep. A lot of small, delicate bones, too. I imagine that would be very difficult to do on the field. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I want to go home. Boss. You what? what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. What? That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, Enemy sailor know. scouts. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. <laughs> That's an emotion you could take into battle and give you the nickname. Like the boss would go over to the Russians. But she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. She's a better She's technical wrestler than Ric Flair and Bret Hart combined. Your objective. Enemy. We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Well, you know. yeah, were well, you not paying attention when she threw you off that bridge? Waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Ah, thanks, that helps a lot. Snake, I see you've equipped a hand. <laughs> the hand can be used to pimp slap your enemies. Seriously, though, I, I shouldn't be so hard on him because he doesn't have a freaking uh, You're wearing the tiger monkey. stripe pattern camouflage, huh? In the diaper. Tiger stripe is a forest camouflage. As you may have guessed by the name, it mimics the stripe pattern on the tiger's coat. Ah. It was originally worn by South Vietnamese Marines. Then it caught to the disguise themselves as tigers. Military advisor, and now they're thinking of introducing it into all kinds of special forces units. Including Alaska, which doesn't it really make sense. It works best in places with lots of trees and grass, but it should blend in with dirt and mud, too. And now we've replaced all the tiger stripe ammo. Or camo. Well, tiger stripe is kind of the default. Like, if you don't feel like paying attention to your camo and changing it a lot, wearing tiger stripe most of the time is, is you know, okay. I uh, oh, never mind. Your, your hand is fine. You had a horse come down with all of its weight on, you know, its hoof on your hand. You're like, yeah, whatever, no sell that. I'm a badass. Yeah, baby. Split up. <laughs> <laughs> I know a thing or two about her. Luckily, there are grenade logs around here that are immune from grenades. Someone there? That didn't take long to go uh, tits up. I didn't realize there were uh, guys on the screen. Yeah, I guess they weren't kidding around when they said they were sent to investigate. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't call Sigan again and start asking about other camo patterns. <laughs> Nobody here. <gasps> What's this? What? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. Oh, they found the. We have evidence of an enemy yeah, they found the ship. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use Ooh. extra caution. Just don't. Unfortunately, I don't even know what direction you need to escape in. I think you're supposed to be going north. 
I mean, I think I was supposed to be going the direction that guy was in. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're coming from the direction of the yes. Indeed. Yeah. So basically, it's it's like it's the inverse of uh, Car Battle or Joe. You're gonna need to cling to the right side of the screen and uh, work your way. At all time. Yeah. So I just want to stay here until the caution is up. Well, I mean, I I always. I, I never have the patience, but it, that is the smart move, yes. If you wait till the caution's over, it should be easier to sneak out. Oh, but now you've got a buddy here. We can, uh, yeah, yeah. This, this is going to be a very... T despite it being an action game, it's apparently going to be a very talky very LP, talky folks. LP, so yeah. just, uh, it's like, let's play together Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Bumpy Trot. <laughs> We're just going to kind of have a relaxing, non-linear uh, virtuous mission. Well, it's going to be fairly linear. It's just going to be a little... Actually, this game gives you... Well, no. It's it's, it's fairly linear. Uh, it's no, nowhere near as linear as Metal Gear Solid 4 is. Oof. Metal Gear Solid 4 is basically a series of cutscenes. There's a dude. Yes. Yes, there is. The dude. You're keeping an eye on that dude, that's all. We need to figure out how CQC works. The dude. Like, you can pick up dudes to give them the razor's heads and stuff. It's pretty awesome. We go for the attitude adjustment on some Soviet guard. Yeah, if I hit the right trigger to prompt the menu, weapon menu at just the right time, I can counter their moves. And yes, uh, yes. And if you pull the R trigger in the right way, you will do this over an evolved salute. Or possibly crotch jobs. <laughs> so anyway, folks, this you got to you got to admit though, in real life, a military sneaking mission is probably going to involve a lot of just kind of staying still, <laughs> waiting for people to wander off. We spent 99 seconds standing around near this vehicle, and we no longer care about... Understood. Return to your position. I actually want to give them a second to return to their positions. Yeah. And then you probably want to just crawl. Sort of... How do I get out of first person? There's, is there a way to... Uh... In, when you're crawling, not really. It sort of defaults to first person. But you want to sort of bear to the right and crawl maybe kind of against that wall. And we also definitely want to see if we can find a position from which we can look around. You got this, the video scope. Oh, jeez. This is camo isn't there. very good there, but, uh... Yeah, here we go. Let's... Do a quick look around. They may have just outright left, but... I don't think so. I think they're still up... No. There's nothing anywhere. There's nothing in the entire world. Yes, yes you you're seeing things. Things that are me. <laughs> there you go, Bobo. You got yeah. this shit. You got the block down on lockdown. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Shit. Kill it. You bastard, we're supposed to be friends. You know, it's gonna sound like I'm showing off, but I don't think that ever happened to me when I played it. There's not that many poisonous snakes. I think you kind of got unlucky there that you even wandered into one. I definitely got bitten by other well, things. Paramedic, paramedic, I'm poisoned. <laughs> I'd like to Snake, kiss you, but my lips are bent. No. It looks like the poison is already starting to affect you. Sure. Unless you cure it, <laughs> you become <laughs> less rude than before. To cure poison, go into cure in the survival viewer and administer a serum injection. Oh, is that what I should do? So I've been poisoned. <laughs> It's like you got poison, so, my nigga. You're wearing Sorry. woodland face paint. I love that. Mess. The woodland paint is most effective in forest environments. Makes sense. It'll work best if you use it when infiltrating forest areas. Mm -hmm. Forest, forest, forest. <laughs> Never go full retard. Forest gump. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
kind of didn't make the bridging connection out loud. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of drunk. <laughs> No, that's that's acceptable since the days of Final Fantasy. For whatever reason, purple bubbles represent poison. Inject the serum. Cure. The serum has been injected in my ass. I believe you can use the triggers to spin them around if you want to. Not a particularly good reason to do that, but... If you spin him around a lot, he, I believe he throws up. But that's silly. Does not appear to be happening anyways. Perhaps a bonus feature of the, uh... Yeah, I, 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 I just not... I maybe not this. when you're poisoned. Maybe it only happens when otherwise he's normal. Or maybe it only happens with... There's another... There's a point in the game, without explaining why, you'll actually have this medical screen up for another character, and you can make them uh, throw up, I believe. Yeah, maybe it's just that he's he just does not too get awesome, sick. Yeah. That way. Go ahead and eat one of those snakes. Oh, never mind, you just threw up. Oh, and I lost a shit ton of stamina from it. Yeah, so eat one of your snakes. Next time we do that, we'll have to do it while you're not in first-person mode, so we can actually see... <laughs> So there you go, folks. Food. Oh, I. St yeah, okay. So King Cobra was. That's oh, the I one haven't that eaten King Cobra you. yet. Well. Well, the reticulated. Well, you can eat whichever one you want. Uh, well, the frogs are the oldest. Thing. Yeah, I should eat them. But I don't think they'll give you very much. <sighs> oh, maybe, maybe I'm pretty completely wrong. Down to recovery. Pretty tasty. You bloco maloco. I've been, been keeping track of time. Is now a good time to step out? Probably. It's actually uh, just hit the start button real quick. I think you're you're right. I was thinking that a second ago. And uh, oh, good instincts, Bobo. Good instincts. You want to say? I do, Jack. Jack, you are Jack, and I am saving. Is this a good time to talk about our relationship, Snake? Not even dating you. What is this? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give up my medical license and whatever. Hey, Snake, have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No, can't say that. It's about this expedition that goes to the planet Altair 4 in an ultra fast spaceship. When they arrive, they meet the survivor of the last expedition, Dr. Morbius. Dr. Morbius was exploring the planet along with his daughter, Altera and the versatile Robbie the Robot. Danger! Danger! Ignoring the doctor's warnings, the expedition team is suddenly attacked by an invisible creature called the Monster from the Id. The special effects they used for the science stuff were really neat. I wish I had a robot like Robbie that could make anything I wanted it to. I'm more interested in that invisible play. monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding or wearing camouflage. Maybe someday you'll be able to turn invisible. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Stealth camo. <laughs> Crazy <goofiness>. <laughs> now I'm gonna go beat the boss. Anyway, folks, um, we made Salt Snake throw up. That was a great victory. <laughs> I'm the serious JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And we'll be back next time for more puking. Bye.